Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's the Oni with Thrifty Divas and I'm here with a Dollar Tree haul for everybody and it is a rather large one. So we'll see what happens, but I have categorized everything again and I think it goes faster that way. So, all right, let me just get started. I'm gonna start with the food so that I can go uh, put some of the stuff away. So the first thing I wanna show you, I've shown you before and it is a repurchase. It is these Harvest Creek Chicken Franks and they are a product of Canada. Um, I couldn't remember where I got them from the first time and I had to go back. I went to four different stores to find them and I finally found them again. I have not tasted them yet because I had gotten them for my son. But what I wanted to tell you guys was that the first time I ever gave them to him, because I usually get the bar S ones that Dollar Tree has, first bite he took, he goes, oh wow, these are good, these are different. He knew right away. So I was like, okay. And he kept saying, I really, really like these. So I picked up a few more packs. They expire in September, September 13th of this year. And then I also picked up an extra pack to bring with us camping to roast over an open fire or whatever, but I just grabbed those. Then I picked up one of these bags of tortilla ch chips because I have to go inside and make guacamole when I'm done filming this because you'll, you'll, you're seeing this on Monday, but today is Sunday and it's pool day at my mom's, so I'm making guacamole. All right, next, these were a huge wish list item. I was so happy I finally found them. I picked up a few of each because they also expire in September of this year. But these are the baked goldfish. These are four ounce bags. So they're goldfish veggie. I got one with tomato. Um, and it says there's a third serving of tomatoes per serving. And they come in the shape of the goldfish and a tomato. And then these are carrot, same thing. And the shapes are a gold, goldfish and carrot. So I thought those were freaking adorable. And any way to get in those veggies, and then they brought these back. I was happy to see they expire October 12th of this year and they are five half ounce bags of original crispy potato chips. So those are good for grab and go. And then I picked these up uh, probably for camping. Lay stacks, one in the cheddar, one in the original. And these were also on my wish list. These are powered by plants nature's garden you get four one ounce bags of trail mix in here they're just clear sleeves of trail mix um i could not find an expiration date oh here durr. wow i should have gotten more i could not find an expiration date in the store they expire july of next year you have a whole year on them guys so i think if i find more i will pick up more i just picked up like two of each um so this one is the real trail mix. It's got peanuts, cashews, almonds, M&Ms, and raisins. Again, it's five, I'm sorry, four one ounce clear bags. And then this one is just like a dried tropical fruit mix. It's got banana chips, raisins, papaya, pineapple, and coconut. Um, this has too much sugar for me, but this is great. These are great on the go, so I was happy to find those. Uh, and the last thing in the food category, there's a couple more food items, but I've separated a different category, so you'll see. But uh, I got two of these, because I'm gonna send one to a friend. These don't expire until December of 2021, so you got like a year and a half on them. But this is by the 1908 Candy Company, and this is Johnny Apple Treats. It's four ounces of chewy apple candy. So that just sounded really cool. Um, so I just grabbed two bags of those, and I think that does it for this section of the food. So let me just pause to at least go put the hot dogs away, and I will be right back. Okay, and we're back. So now I've created a category, because <laughs> it was so much. I have a category of camping, because I'm still preparing for that, and I will be until the moment we leave, and bug out bag, because it's almost done. So I put camping and bug out bag together in a box right here. So I'm just gonna show you 
both of those things together. So camping and because we just did food, I just picked up one of these really big 20 ounce cans of Hanover brown sugar baked beans to bring with us camping. And then I also picked up, I always bring one of these with me, these um, eight and a half fluid ounce soybean oil blended with like a drop of extra virgin olive oil. but. For camping it's good and it's plastic and it's small and it's just it's so perfect all right so that's camping okay there's more there's more for camping I picked up so I got shower shoes for everybody else and then I was like my son probably needs a pair of shower shoes too for when I shower him over there so I just picked him up a pair of these little flip-flops with the strap on the back and these are solely just for the shower so we have that then also for camping, I picked up one of these Pick Buggables Mosquito Bands for everyone that's going camping. So I got four black ones for the adults because I thought the black was nice. I don't know. Me, anything that comes in black, I love it. So there is four of the black ones and I got a little blue one or periwinkle one for my son. Um, and it's in a resealable bag. It's citronella, deep free, obviously. And I, th I thought it gives like a time on here. I don't see it right now though. I can't remember, maybe it was on the box, but it said something like up to third, I don't know. It gave an amount of uses or hours or something on the box, but I can't find it right now. So that is for camping as well. Um, okay, also camping, I picked up several cans of this Kill Zone Flying Insect Killer. This is made in the USA by Chase Products Company. So this is actually not imported by Greenbrier International. I don't know if you guys ever noticed that. Um, but this is good for gnats, flies, other insects, and it has uh, kills and repels mosquitoes. So you can actually like fog with this, like do the area around where you are and it repels the mosquitoes. So I bought several of those. And then I also got this one. This is Chase MM by the same company, right? Chase. And this is insect repellent provides continuous protection that lasts up to three hours against mosquitoes, um, repels mosquitoes, chiggers, ticks, deer flies, stable flies, black flies, gnats, and fleas on exposed skin surfaces and deer ticks. I got Lyme disease camping once. It wasn't fun. Half my face was paralyzed. Anyway, um, so yes, I picked up a few of those and this can actually, so it says on the can, go on your skin. All right, so there's that, and then I picked up, I don't know whether for camping or for the bug out bag, so we'll get into this conversation when I do the bug out bag video, but bug, bug out bags need to be seasonal, so they need to be kept up with to a certain point. So this might be good for the summer bug out bag. You don't know where you're gonna end up. You might end up in the woods, right? So anyway, what these are, are two wipes, sealed wipes of Deep Woods Off. And then I got this little first aid kit for the bug out bag. This comes with eight sheer bandages, four little baby sheer bandages, two of the little round bandages, two knuckle bandages, two gauze pads, and two alcohol prep pads. And you can, of course, add to this, which I plan on doing. And again, also for the bug out bag, I got another, right? I bought these for camping already, but I bought another three, two packs of Tylenol and three two packs of a leaf and also for the bug out bag I picked up these lubricating eye drops by medics choice they are preservative free they are sterile because they are in five single-use capsules so it says compared to the active ingredient in refresh plus so put this in a uh, first aid kit right so you get these five little vials that you just snap open and use one time. It's just a couple drops in there. But if you got something in your eye, what do you, you know, or whatever, I don't know. So adding that to the first aid kit as well. 
than a must anything you read on bug out bags a must for any bug out bag is poly rope so i got this uh 50 feet of poly rope from the tool bench section and i got it in yellow i picked up another pack of these i bought them all for like stocking stuffers for all the men in my family but these are the nitrile coated like packing receiving gloves gloves by azusa safety so i got one of these to throw in the bug out bag as well and I picked up one of these to throw in the bug out bag as well. My son has one of these as a toy and he was playing with it the other night and I'm like, that would be good in the bug out bag. It's like a little disco light and it does like all little things and it comes with the little button cell batteries already in there. So hey, why not? If you need to be noticed, speaking of if you need to be noticed, I picked up another one of these safety vests by the tool bench, specifically this time for the bug out bag. Yes. And also for camping, I picked up another one of these rubber mallets. I mean, they're okay. They are okay. Um, just so that, because this time we're setting up three tents at the same time, so I figured at least having two rubber mallets is better, you know, more expeditious. However, this is not a tent rubber mallet because it does not have the remover hook for when you're breaking down. Um, so that's the only difference. I do have a real, real tent mallet that has the, the metal hook, but at least you can put them in with that. Let me see if I'm missing anything else from here. Oh, one more thing for the bug out bag. Um, I picked up this because my Hennessy is also going to be a part of it. So this is 15 ounces of the Greenbrier Kennel Club dog food compared to Kibbles and Bits original. Um, this is made in the USA. 15 ounce I said that already and the reason why I got this instead of like the 16 ounce Purina is just because it's in a bag and not a box so that it's easier to travel and it has um oh this one doesn't have that long but whatever this one is till February the end of February 2021 it's not too bad but I have to keep up with that all right, so that's the end of that type of stuff. Let's get into some more exciting things, shall we? All right, so next, some uh, home decor items, I guess we'll say. So I picked up this sign. I just thought it was really, really sweet. It's got that like minty green background. It says, welcome fall. So you can keep it up for a rather long time. I'm probably gonna put this up front and center on my TV console, because I thought it was nice and I'm loving the dark brown buffalo check. So I picked that up and then I picked myself up this. <laughs> I have a mug that says it, why not? So I just picked up this little trinket tray for myself for whatever little trinkets on my dresser but it says wifey and they had several to choose from so if you saw my walkthrough video I show the other varieties of that then I picked up the Wi-Fi signs which were on my wish list so I got this one for me which says be our guest uh, this is gonna go in my actual guest room and that way I can put our Wi-Fi password right there and then um, a friend of mine wanted this one and this one says Wi-Fi sweet Wi-Fi and there is a third variety which I will insert for you right here so that's the third one that I did not get all right next I'm gonna show books smack in the middle again so here we go found a lot of good books guys they're bringing out a lot of books right now so I think it's like a thing <sighs> anyway all right so this first one I got I thought was really fascinating it says I can play it music games and activities to help your child learn really really cool it says i can play it will introduce three to five year olds to music in a joyful hands-on way encourage parents and children to have fun together explore the rhythm of speech and song accompanied by familiar objects in the home as well as simple musical instruments and suggest ways to make music part of everyday activities i'm all about it I grew up in musical theater, so I'm all about it. I just thought it was really, really nice. And this actually retailed for $17.99 US. And I peeled off all the stickers ahead of time. Woo, I'm killing it today. Okay, and then I showed all of these varieties in the walkthrough um, time-wise that I posted for you yesterday, right? Should should be what it is, but um, 
Um, this, I just picked up this one to give to my mom because I thought she would like it. She's always looking for like breakfasty and brunchy ideas. So this is Five Star Brunch and it has pretty interesting things in there. Uh, veggie frittata, mini cheeseburgers, whole wheat blueberry muffins, um, curry avocado toast, easy home fries, eggs benedict, German apple pancakes, quiche Lorraine, overnight oats with peanut butter, blended coffee frappe. So just a little bit and this was one of five I believe but I do show them in the walkthrough. Then I picked up this book for my husband which retailed for $25.99. This is by Vin Baker, an NBA player, God and Starbucks. First of all, I love the title. Like that's what caught my attention first. But then an NBA superstar's journey through addiction and recovery. And of course, as soon as I came home, I said, babe, do you know who Vin Baker is? He's like, oh yeah, da, 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 da. So then I showed him this book and he's like, oh, I'm, I definitely read that one. So thought that was awesome. An NBA superstar's journey through addiction and recovery. And it's called God and Starbucks. I can't okay then I just had to get this one this retailed for $18.95 US will my kid grow out of it a child psychologist's guide to understanding worrisome behavior so I just figured so it says typical or time to seek help my son's teacher says he's very disruptive in class. My daughter has a hard time making friends. Our son is constantly worried and anxious. We battle with our child over homework every day. I have a three-year-old, so everything, you wonder if they'll grow out of it. But anyway, I figure for later on, this is just a great book to have. So I was happy to pick that up for a dollar. Then I got a couple of activity books because they're putting a few new out with the school stuff and these do say that they are imported by Greenbrier International but they are good old scholastic so I got the two that they have in his his age, age group his age group and this the next one is four to six and they have a, a two in that one as well um so the, they're three to five four to six and five to seven so these are the two and three to five this is alphabet and this is math, pre-K math. So I got that because I think it's going to be all on me for a while. It's just my guess, which is I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Uh, all right. Then, are you guys ready for this? Look at this freaking, look, look at this coloring book. Crayola, a Hallmark company not distributed by Greenbrier. I know that's not a shock. It's like six inches thick. Exaggerating, but that's okay. Oh, I forgot to peel this one off because I didn't think it would have a price. $5.99 US. It's huge. It's huge. 400 pages of fun, coloring, and activity. Amazing absolutely amazing and because it's actually Crayola and was an $8 book I'm hoping that it doesn't get all smudgy when you color it okay next I was shocked when I saw this I was like what is this because it just is it grabbing your attention right okay so I see and then I see Paris street style I'm like oh what's that my aunt's obsessed with Paris you know whatever okay A coloring book a coloring book I, I, I can't. this is so gorgeous it's got the strap oh my gosh oh my gosh amazing so I did get one for myself and I did get one to share which I will at some point. And this retailed for $16 US for a coloring book. Gorgeous. Okay, moving on. Me and my huge holes. Random things for my son category. Okay, so I picked up three more packs of the bum equipment quarter socks for boys. I picked up two in the black and blue and one in the white and green. They're very comfortable. Uh, I, I, I have a review video working and you'll see these are in there and not like great, but they're super comfortable. But anyway, all right, moving on, moving on. 
then this is new. This is not imported by Greenbrier. It's the Toy Industry Association Inc. Ja Ru Inc. Caution, may stain some fabrics, clothing, furniture, walls, and painted surfaces. What? Why? That's weird. So anyway, it's this sticky dart set. And it says, okay, ready? It's pretty funny. Dartboard on back, right? Dartboard on back. I <laughs> keep to be like a sharpshooter. Anyway, I don't know. And then it says if they lose their stickiness, like rinse them with soap and water. But new item, not Dollar Tree, so or you know, not not distributed by Greenbrier, so I picked that up. Then this is distributed by Greenbrier. He's too young for this now, but I wanted to put it away for whenever he does need it in case I can't find it when he does. These are earplugs and nose clips, splash and swim. And it also comes with this adorable little case to put them both in. So I thought that was really, really awesome. So I grabbed that. Okay, some crafty stuff next. I picked up this by Red Heart Boutique Chic. I picked it up in red a long time ago. It was the only color I ever saw. And I saw people hauling white and pink. I'm like, man, I like that so much better than the red. Um, I cannot knit, I can't crochet, I can't do anything that involves not a sewing needle. Um, but I love this for the little soft furry pom-poms that are already on there. Um, and this, you know, it's a very soft chenille thread so yarn so you can really work with this to make some kind of cute tassels for things or gifts or whatever you get a good amount on there so that's what I picked this up for and in case you are interested uh, it doesn't tell me I was gonna say a length for you oh yes yeah, 60 yards Wow, that's a lot okay then all right, this is from the tool bench, but this is for crafting for me, and this has been on my wish list forever. I'm so excited. I found this, this twisted poly rope, this white twisted poly rope. You get 25 feet of it. It is very nice and thick. So I had bought this poly rope that I just showed you for the bug out bag. I bought this, two of these rolls, they're 50 feet in black for crafting to like wrap things in and give it like a nice wickery look um so you get 25 feet of this versus the 50 in this but there is a huge difference in the thickness so again i got this to wrap things and give it like a nice wickery look um so i finally found that i've been looking for that stupid thing forever and so is patty my, my friend at, over at patty's chance holes and more in wisconsin like we could not find the damn things but now i found it Woo! All right, and are you ready? I was like, what? I said out loud in the store, what is this, guys? What is this? What is this? This is a football wreath form by the flower garden, the floral garden. Yes, it is. So it shows you here. Um, I'm not gonna be doing blue. I'll do, I'll do regular brown and white here. And then I bought a white felt roll from Crafter Square to do the stitches. I'll just kind of glue the stitches on that. Uh, if you want to write Go Team on there or whatever you want, Crafter Square does sell the white felt letters in a bag. So, but I was like, oh my gosh, I've never in my life seen this. And I don't think I'm wrong. All right, what else? All right, so that ends crafty stuff. Here's one random household item that I, oh no, I have a few random household items. Again, let's, okay. I just picked up two of these Panasonic CR2032 uh, button batteries because my husband used our last one for his remote fob on his first car. They take these. So I just picked up two more to make sure we have them. Then I found this, which is crazy because I feel like I have seen it before. I'm not sure, but they only had one and it's wrapped in sh a shrink wrap band and the skew is on the bottom of both of them. So I got both of these for a dollar. I feel like they weren't like that, right? I feel like they weren't 
two for a dollar ever. But anyway, this is Travel Magic Shine for a fast and easy shine. Great for the traveler. Works on leather and vinyl, shoes, purses, briefcases, and luggage. So I picked this up, um, again, probably for stocking stuffers for Christmas. Then um, all of my stores were bringing this back, and I was super excited because I give it to my son when he does his homework. This is the 100 lumens LED super bright desk lamp, and I have had it before for him, and it works very, very well, and I'm, I'm very excited that I was able to get another one. So they are on a little gooseneck like that on off button and they run on three double a batteries not included all right then i picked up one of these this is not distributed by greenbrier this is by tape it tape it ink tape it.com made in the usa general purpose masking tape and you get 60 yards so i thought that was great i picked up another one of these paper towel holders by cooking concepts to try to organize some of our tapes in um our like the cabinet you guys know you probably have one batteries glue tape flashlights you know that that one so we'll see how this works uh what else i can't get this lamp back in the right way me me i should have never taken this out <laughs> oh okay kind of i already ripped the box but whatever and then I was completely shocked to find this. Look at this. This is by Power Gear by Jasco, it says. This is, it says 3D TV ready, HDMI cable, full HD, 1080p, connects with HDTVs, DVD players, cable boxes, all that stuff on the back. HDMI cables. Yeah, they're only three feet, but what? So I had to, had to, had to get this. Never seen that before. All right, I picked up a couple of bags. I got this one, this Marvel one. Um, and it is distributed by Legacy Lightning Licensing Partners, so it is not distributed by Greenbrier. And this is, I got this for William, Patty's son. And then I got this for myself. I could not resist. I just couldn't. It's a Baby Yoda bag. It's Baby Yoda. The manager walked by. She saw it down on the, on the, um, you know, she had already scanned it. The cashier had already scanned it. So it was at the end, like in the bagging area and the manager walked by and she's like, oh my God. I was like, right. I mean, come on. She's like, I don't need any more bags. And I was like, neither do I, but come on baby Yoda. Okay. Then health and beauty. There's only two more categories left guys, health and beauty. So the, I, I put this in health and beauty because I just think it should go there. I don't know. All right. So they had these. You've probably seen people hold them by now. Um, and they are distributed by Greenbrier. So you probably will be seeing them at most of your stores. For decorative use only, not intended for use with food or candles, just so you guys know. So the reason why I got this was actually for my beauty blender, to hold my beauty blender. And that's why I got that. I'm not doing brushes in here. Um, it's, I mean, I guess it's tall enough. I just don't like it. And I don't need another beauty brush holder, but a beauty blender holder. Yeah, sure. So you just put your big beauty blender in there to rest um, after you clean it and stuff. Okay. Then, all right. So these brushes that I've already shown you before. So I... All right, there's two more. So let's go through all of them because I'm trying to figure out how many it is. So it is a powder brush, a 
blush brush, an eyeshadow brush, a uh, precision brush, and a slanted brush. So it is five. And I got three the last time and two of those for you guys. Um, but now I got the eyeshadow brush for you guys as well. And then I got the another eyeshadow brush for me because I didn't get that the first time. So that's what the eyeshadow brush looks like. Oh, that's nice. Beautiful little gems that we've already discussed. Rose gold finish. And then this is the blush brush. The one I got the first time was the powder brush. I don't know if there's really a difference. I don't know. Maybe a tiny bit smaller. I think it's a tiny bit smaller. But there's that beautiful, beautiful brush again. I mean, the brush feels the same. It's not any stiffer or anything or, or, or softer. It's the same. But I think it might be a hair smaller than the powder brush. But I just got that. And then if you wanted to see, see, I don't like it. I don't like it anyway. It's, it's not high enough. Okay. Then, keeping with the theme of I'm late and they had one. Okay. I was late and they had one and this is the one I didn't have. So this is the professional size. So this one is five fluid ounces. The rest were four that I got. But this is the Freeman Beauty Infusions Hydrating Cream Mask in Manuka Honey and Collagen. Uh, boosts moisture, restores smooth smoothness and improves elasticity. Dermatologist tested. Um, and somebody was commenting about um, if they have seals because they said they purchased theirs and they didn't have seals. None of mine have had seals either. None of them have been sealed. So in case you guys were wondering. Oh, that smells very, very nice. It smells almost like suntan lotion. All right, then I picked up these. Okay, these are distributed by Greenbrier International. It's my beauty spot. It is a petty tool four-sided ultimate foot care petty tool foot care combo complete pedicure tool so it's got a pretty satin ribbon it's got the pumice it's got a brush it's got the metal file and then it's got like the sandpaper and I they had two colors so I got the pink for me and then the turquoise for my mom and I think it's cute the turquoise and pink looks really cute together too but I picked up two of those and the very last thing in this whole guy, oh no, that's such a lie, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This haul is ginormous, guys, holy crap. Anyway, last thing in beauty, woo! Major wish list, I was so excited, you have no idea. So this is a 15, do I do math? Yes, 15 color palette by Hard Candy, 15. So I was able to find those and I will also be sharing. Okay. All right. Last category and I'll try to do it quickly. Oh my goodness. This is like a uh, stationary kind of stuff. I've been waiting for this forever. Wait, hold on. Let me do this first. So I got my son a folder cause I just couldn't resist it. So this is actually plastic. And it's yellow on the inside, but it's got all the tiny shoes on it. It's so cute. So I absolutely loved that. Easy peel. Yes. Thank you, Jot. All right. So I got him that, which goes with, I've been waiting to find this, this little pencil case. And that's so cute. Oh, no. They were stuck together. Oh well, I got him two of these apparently. So I got him two of these pencil cases, which is fine. But they go together. I'm so excited. And then in the same set of pencil cases, I should have taken footage of the other ones, but I didn't. Um, they had this one with like a Game Boy and it says you win. So I got one for myself and then I got one for William, Patty's son. All right. 
Then I found this one ounce bag of happy birthday confetti. Also, it has stars in it too, to put in birthday cards to piss people off. Yeah, so fun. Okay, there's that. Um, and then I found these, which were on my wish list. They had two other ones. I'm sure you've seen them by now, but I really wanted this 2021 pink one that says fresh start with the gold foil. Let me show you the inside. Okay, again, let's say easy peel label. Yes. Okay. And then I got this one for my mom, which is just like a turquoise glitter that says just 2021 in silver foil. So I grabbed those two and there are two, two more, maybe three. I don't even remember. Then I picked up this from the fun find section, this 50 sheet notebook. This is just, I'll show you, hold on. This one is just on the cover. It's not like, um, like the fold overs that they have oftentimes. This is just a 3d embellishment on the cover. And this is the donut striped on the back also and lined inside. So I got this one. And then of course I got the one with the shell and it has like mermaid scale in the back. I don't care about the mermaid scale. I just really wanted the shell. See, so pretty. And it's just like a foam, a foam applique on there. Really, really cute. I'm assuming once you finish this journal, you could probably just kind of pry these right off and use them for something else too. But they are lined. Yep, so I got those two. And then the very last thing in this haul this time, I tell the truth. This uh, wall art, 50 stickers, poster stickers, and these are imported by Greenbrier, by the way. But it has balloons and like little banners and like streamers and confetti. I just thought that would be really cute to like, and it's both sides, but I thought it'd be really cute to like put on the wall like for somebody's birthday. You know, that's it. Like a photo shoot or something. Cake smash, right? Awesome. Yeah, so I grabbed that. And that concludes this monstrous haul. And I hope you all enjoyed. And thank you for spending some of your time with me today. And until the next video, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you. And if you have not hit that subscribe button already, we would love to have you as a permanent part of the Thrifty Divas family. So go right ahead and hit it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys very, very soon. I love each and every one of you.